It is the 13th of the 11th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. Well, Scott.net's kind of lame tonight, so I'm going to start off with Ice Age now. A couple stories. Huge rock fall on Mount Rainier. If you live in an area once covered with ice, you may have seen one, one of those huge boulders sitting in the middle of a field and wondering how it got there. So Mount Rainier is having some uh, seismic activity and boulder fall and uh, something we need to pay attention to. Potential for double eruption north of El Hero, and this goes on with my special report uh, that I put out earlier today about the nuclear waste dump uh, that they're dumping off to sea off the coast of El Hero, uh, 20 kilometers away, I believe. Uh, but the point is, is these, it's a very steep, steep island, and these new volcanoes rushing up here if that slides through, that's going to disturb all that sediment and all that radioactive materials. And uh, no telling what's going on with this volcano. Over to the extinction protocol. Uh, death toll in Turkey's second earthquake rises to 38 as harsh winter weather arrives. And uh, of course they have tens of thousands of homeless and uh, the snow has begun to fall. Iceland's Katla volcano stirred by another flurry of tremors, and of course we are all paying attention to Katla closely. Um, they had one over three point magnitude, and um, looks like on this chart at least four other nice sized spurts, and all within underneath the glacier, um, sitting right on top of the volcano. And. Uh, Rope of fire, massive filament wraps around the sun's northeastern limb. Uh, they're calling it the grand filament. A filament of mag magnesium more than 700,000 kilometers long is circling around the sun's northern limb. And uh, I think the last time this happened was, what, six, eight months ago, and they called it the great element. And uh, when that releases, that lets go and uh, could produce quite a massive CME. Um, in our direction, maybe, you know what I mean, it just depends on which way it lets go. Uh, we have a mass stranding of whales on a Tasmanian beach, uh, I think it was over 20 sperm whales on the Tasmanian west coast. That's always sad to hear about. Over to the RSOE, uh, what's new, what's new, um, of course the El Hero, where they're saying that uh, a major eruption can happen anytime north of the island or the island itself uh, can erupt right now, and there's a lot of seismic activity right there. Uh, snowstorm, the province of British Columbia in the western regions, and that's that big snow that hit Alaska rolling down through and doing what winter storms do uh, here in the northern hemisphere. Uh, flash floods in Singapore. Uh, apparently they had super torrential rains. Um, the, the drainage system couldn't keep up. And uh, there was a lot of street flooding and whatnot. And what else? What else? That is about it climate-wise. Uh, really not a lot going on today, thankfully. Over to uh, ENE News. New York's Time reporter detects 300 microsieverts per hour while on bus. Now you got to remember, before this all happened, 10 microsieverts was the allowable limit for one year for a nuclear employee. Um, <clears throat> so apparently they, they let the, the, the reporters into Fukushima, and uh, there's a lot of horrific stories coming out. Um, i got another story. This is the one out of Europe uh, with all the, the iodine-139. Now Poland and Denmark report radioactive dust. IAEA official, we are a little concerned. Well, no shit. Fukushima man reports seeing yellow flash when reactor number three exploded from over 30 miles away. And they have a video attached to that. Um, so, we all watched the damn thing. A former TEPCO employee, plutonium and uranium in reactor number three has all been blown out. There was no ordinary explosion government is concealing the truth and they have a video attached to that as well and of course we all knew that the, with the spent nuclear fuel uh, being stored on top of the reactor and the reactor blew up and of course all that MOX fuel and plutonium got scattered up to kilometers away um, I think they were finding it earlier in the crisis hydrogen explosion at Idaho nuclear facility 
the INL engineer sodium released hydrogen, the reaction, can range in magnitude from flash to an explosion. And this is the Idaho plant that's had two accidents now in the last week. And uh, they have plutonium exposure as well. So I'd uh, be very advised um, in the, the Idaho area immediately around this plant. And Japan Times official tooled extremely bad conditions at Fukushima. Workers often abandon after exceeding radiation limit. And this just goes the story to, to vets, to anything else as far as they are using these people up and letting them die. That's well, all for the mighty buck, right? Off the AP, anonymous IE, IAEA official says iodine-131 release appears to be continuing across Europe. And I think they're up to like nine countries now. And uh, that's about all they have new tonight. So enjoy what you can. Thanks for your support, everybody. And don't forget to comment below or attach your videos. Thanks.